Um, hello, Dream Lunch. It's been such a long time since um, we have engaged you. Um, I just want to get the housekeeping out of the way. This is a video to engage you during your quarantine time. The reason we have been absent and just posting very modestly is because there's a crisis in the whole world, if you haven't noticed, and many of us are on the front line of that crisis. A lot of us are involved in healthcare, higher education, so it was showtime for us over the past month or so. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe. I get many calls and thanks for being on the front line, and I wanna say to our followers, thank you, thank you, thank you for your words of encouragement. Um, it is a difficult time, and that's all I can say. Um, yeah, coronavirus is real. Uh, I must say that I made the mistake of underestimating what this would be like early on when the government was making all of these predictions and closing down shops, the economy, just shutting the world down. I didn't understand why. Um, from the position standpoint, I'll put on that hat for a little bit, uh, is highly contagious, highly, highly contagious. As you saw Dr. Fossey talk about today, that it may not be as fatal as we thought it was, uh, but it's still very, very deadly. And um, we're having a pretty difficult time managing in the United States of America, which is a first in at least our lifetime. So let's talk about you. What have you guys been up to? I know that you've been home for the most part because we've shut the world down. Um, so you've had a lot of time to reflect. So I want you to kind of engage in this video. There's always a comment section, no matter where you're looking at this video, you're likely, hopefully looking at it on YouTube so that you can engage us. If you liked us, thanked us, or followed us, I'm sorry, so far and subscribe to our channel, thank you because that's important for us to get our message out. If you haven't, click below, ding. And yeah, I can't even make the edits in the video, so I just, just give you verbal clues. Um, so yeah, why don't you click below, click subscribe. It won't cost you nothing. We won't send you emails because we don't even have your email address. Um, so let's get down to business. What have you guys been up to? I'm sure that life has changed a lot for some of you. You have been actually home with your family. So you're getting to know your families that you probably haven't known before. Um, also you're learning how to work remotely. How is that going? Yep. If you're like most of us, you're taking plenty of naps, you're eating plenty of food, and you're bored out your mind. And it's starting to warm up. You look out your window. People that ain't even walked before are walking. So um, America's having a hard time dealing with this, and I hope it is over soon. But in your reflection, what have you learned about yourself, about your potential, about what you want out of life? I can tell you over the week that I've been here, I realized that this disease is the greatest equalizer, as they're calling it. And it doesn't matter what job you do, even if you're on the front lines and you're needed, uh, where you're not there, you feel like there's something more that you can do and you want to contribute in a bigger way. And also, it doesn't matter your income, how much wealth you has, have. This is the first time in my lifetime where you know, discretionary income meant nothing. You can't go anywhere. You can't buy anything. So once you take care of the basics, food, clothing, shelter, um, there's not a whole lot you can do. and You're no different than anyone else. Like this is absolutely insane. Now, unfortunately, some of you guys are finding yourselves looking for other sources of incomes. And my heart goes out to you guys. Um, no one is untouched, even the healthcare sector. Uh, we having to furlough, pe furlough people. Um, the private clinics aren't doing very well. Um, elective things have gone or pretty much come to a halt while we treat this pandemic very aggressively. So um, it reminds me of, you know, one of the things that we started out very early in Dream Lunch with our coaching sessions. So a lot of people ask us, what is Dream Lunch about? So Part of our mission is to coach developing professionals, whether you're coming out of graduate school, trying to go to graduate school, as you've seen, or if you're early in your career and you just don't know how to make it to the next level, or you're trying to move up very quickly. Um, we have some ideas that we like to um, 
give and discuss with people in those positions. So one of the books that we ask all of our clients to read early in our coaching session um, is called Who Moved My Cheese? Now, a lot of you guys are asking this question right now. Who moved my cheese? And in this book, it just talks about how people can become complacent in where they are. You know, it's comfortable and you don't really have a good idea where you're going. Um, it doesn't even matter if you're going anywhere because you've become complacent. How many of you guys are in that position? Well, if you are, I encourage you to get out. Um, this week, people are finding out that jobs they thought were secure were not secure. Financially stable was not so stable. And what you want, your values in life, have changed over the course of the week. So we like to use this example. The, the Who Moved My Cheese book is about mice. Um, and they're in a kind of a maze and they became complacent and then they had a hard time adjusting. So at the end of this, the next 50 subscribers will go into a drawing um, if we get to 100. And I actually have many, many copies of Who Moved My Cheese? So we're going to give away at least 10 copies of this book so that you can get started on part of our coaching sessions for free. So I just kind of want to know what you guys are facing and how you're feeling like people or someone has moved your cheese and how are you managing those thoughts? See, the biggest ways that we actually sabotage ourselves is not being ready for the unknown. So um, as part of Dream Lunch, I guess resilience training, we help you to get ready for the unknown. And for the most part, that's my dog squeaking in the background, can't help that. Uh, for the most part, we um, want you to create the future, not react to the future. So that's what we help you do. So when we have you to read Who Moved My Cheese, which every time we read it, we learn something, we go through the book and apply it to your real life experiences that you're going through at that time. This is a way for us to get to know you, you to get to know us and how we think about things and just to bounce ideas off of each other on how, where to go from there. So we would like you guys to engage with us. You don't have a whole lot to do uh, in these days. So we're going to kind of give you some, I guess, highlights of your life. Um, we're gonna start having some live sessions where we can just talk about professional um, things in a live forum online in front of others um, so that, you know, we can bounce ideas off each other and talk about some of the obstacles we're facing today in this very, very trying time. So I hope you guys would engage with us. Um, I have a lot more content coming your way because I'm at home sometimes and this is all I have to do is to read these books. And if you're interested in me doing kind of a book review, I read about a book a week. Um, and I thought about, you know, um, having kind of a book journal club. I know you guys don't want to read whole books. I'm a nerd like that. Um, and then just discussing some of the highlights in these book in like five to 10 minute sessions online. But I don't want to do it if it's not going to engage you guys and draw an audience that can actually learn from it because I'm writing my notes. I'm learning from it. I'm applying it to my life. So if it's not going to be helpful to you, then I don't want to expose you to it. So if you can give some encouragement in the comment section about that, then that can be coming very, very soon. Uh, my latest book is um, uh, Never Split the Difference. It's a book about negotiation. And I mean, I learned a lot there. It's an FBI nego negotiator who applies his skills in the FBI realm um, to corporate America. And I tell you, it is very, very insightful and mind-blowing. I'll try to review that book um, later this week. But in the meantime, I hope you're staying safe. The self-isolation, the social distances, is really, really, really real. Uh, please heed to those instructions so far so that we can get over these things. Um, just FYI, right now, we don't have a good treatment for coronavirus. So if you get it, all we can do is kind of look at you and say, hmm, that's too bad. I hope he or she gets through it. 
Um, we can give you some support like oxygen and things like that, but there's no magic pill. Don't go out looking for the magic pill. Don't believe the hype. Um, we are pushing things through the FDA as fast as possible, but with very, very, very little signs. And I don't want you guys to be the next victims of some kind of scam or fraudulent, I guess, assertion that you can be healed or even detect coronavirus using all of these internet things. So stay away from that. If you have questions, you know how to hit me in my inbox. Um, but that's it for now, guys. I just wanted to get with you, talk with you about um, what I have been doing and why Dream Lunch has been absent. Uh, we are definitely still working and a lot of our things are web-based. So this would be the perfect time to sign up for a fee free 15-minute coaching session. We're still doing the consultations. We'll kind of do personality tests, assess your needs, and give you our recommendation. Um, you have missed the free wave of coaching. That is done. Uh, that was last year when we got we were trying to get you guys to sign up. We have plenty of work to do now. So um, it is now FIFA service. Dream Launch is up and running, and we're really ready, really ready to help you. Um, but we can't do it unreimbursed now because it is taking a lot of time to manage our clients um, across the country. So until next time, stay safe, stay in. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm looking forward to having the first virtual session. We will post that in the form of a flyer on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube when we have a date and time. Hope you can join us. Let us know how you're feeling out there. Please engage this post, interact, comment, like, do all those things. And most importantly, share it. If you want to support small black businesses during this time, don't forget about us and don't let other people forget about us. That's it for now. See you later, Dream Lunch.